At least three Russian servicemen were killed and ten houses were damaged during the explosion of a Russian bomb in Shebekino town in Belgorod region on Thursday evening. According to Ukrainian telegram channels, ammunition to Solnsopiak TOS belonging to Russian troops exploded, causing the large-scale destruction. Earlier, it was reported that the explosion was caused by Russian troops accidentally dropping KAB laser-guided bomb on the town. Video footages shared in Telegram app show the site of destruction, smoke emerging from the city, as well as rescuers working in the area of destruction. Russian media reported the blast but there have been no official comments from Kremlin about the incident yet. Nor has there been any confirmation that the blast had been caused by Russia. It should be noted that Belgorod region that borders Ukraine's Kharkiv region is frequently targeted by Ukrainian drones. In the latest of such attacks in early May, six people were killed and 35 others were injured. The past six months have seen increased Ukrainian drone attacks on Russian territory. These attacks have predominantly been focused on Russia's energy infrastructure and oil plants, as Ukraine believes Western sanctions on Russia's oil and gas industry have proven ineffective. Ukraine also says the long-range attacks on Russian territory are in response to Kremlin's targeting Ukraine's civilian infrastructure and energy grids that have left millions of people without electricity and heating. Ukraine's goal of 30,000 Russian losses per month, in this case, army can exhaust Russians. Ukraine is currently going through a difficult period on the front line as Russian troops are actively conducting offensives in the east. According to RBC Ukraine, regardless of losses, Russians want to make progress in the east where they are concentrating their main forces. The decisive factor for the Ukrainian armed forces now is to inflict maximum losses on the enemy. The chief of the defense intelligence of Ukraine, Kirill Budanov, described the current situation on the battlefield while talking to journalists. He said that a difficult period had already begun on the front line in Ukraine as the Russian forces have been on the offensive since mid-May. However, according to him, we should not expect Armageddon. Alexander Musienko, head of the Center of Military Law Researches, told RBC Ukraine that the large-scale Russian offensive that Budanov warned about is underway. His predictions that there will be no Armageddon are indeed being confirmed. It is not happening. This is true today. Musienko believes, saying that the main direction of the enemy's attack is on the Donetsk region where the Russian army is trying to make progress. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, names two sectors where the situation is the most difficult, Kurakov and Pokrovsk. The enemy is indeed conducting numerous attacks there. The goal of the occupiers is to reach at least Pokrovsk, meaning to reach Pokrovsk as a result of this campaign and ideally to the administrative borders of the Donetsk region. The enemy is now prioritizing the Donetsk region as its offensive, Musienko said. According to the expert, Ukrainian forces managed to stabilize the situation in the Kharkiv region. Moreover, the fact that the armed forces of Ukraine are now in control of the logistics connection from Shebekino to Vovchansk means that the defense forces are able to prevent the enemy from expanding their foothold in the Kharkiv region, and they are quite effectively holding back the Russians there, Musienko said. At the same time, Ukraine has stopped the rapid pace of Russian troops' advance, he said. The defense forces are stabilizing the situation even better in some parts of the front line and have been successful in striking at Russian military facilities in the Belgorod region and in the occupied Crimea. According to Musienko, the fact that Ukraine needs to have a sufficient number of different means of firepower is of great importance now. These include artillery shells, mines, HIMARS, longer-range weapons and aircraft. This is necessary to inflict such losses on the enemy that he is unable to replenish his forces within a month as a result of its mobilizations. That is, more than 30,000 losses must be inflicted on the enemy per month to make it exhausted. 
Therefore, we need even more firepower, more ammunition, and in fact, I think, we will be able to finally stabilize the situation at the front, the expert concluded.